Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Welcome to the Weekly Bat, episode 78. Kicking off the week with a call for volunteers. Bat ambassadors needed. Help us take Bat to the next level in 2021. Hello, Bat community. We will soon be relaunching our Bat Ambassadors program, which is formerly known as the Bat Regional Leaders Program which is focused on building a strong team of representatives from around the world who will help establish and grow communities of BAT fans in their regions. If you know that BAT and Brave is the next big thing and you think you can help take it to the next level, then we want you to join us. Link to the application form is in the weekly BAT blog post. Do not miss it. Up next, Brendan Eich, BAT CEO, was recently on the Lex Friedman podcast, episode 160. JavaScript, Firefox, Mozilla, and Brave. Lex Friedman tweets, Here's my conversation with Brendan Eich, creator of JavaScript and co-founder of Mozilla, Firefox, and Brave. These are all revolutionary technologies in the history and future of computing and the internet. Up next, we have a Themis RFC and C update. A month ago, we announced an RFC and C for the Themis protocol, which is meant to progressively decentralize the Brave and Bat ads infrastructure, while providing users and advertisers with the ability to verify that the protocol is properly computing user rewards. Today, we are excited to share some progress we have made in the past month. Link to that is in the blog post. Bat and Brave in the news. This piece is from the Week in Ethereum News newsletter. Status. Private messengers, what can they really see? This article aims to provide a fair and thorough comparison of the current private messaging apps in terms of their privacy, security, and anonymity. However, it must be abundantly clear that this post is written by Status, one of the above messengers. We strongly encourage you to verify our sources, do your own due diligence, and correct us if we are wrong. For the purpose of simplicity for the average reader, anonymity will be defined as a complete dissociation of one's chat identity and their true identity. That's a wrap for this week. If you're interested in reading the full stories whose headlines we cover in the podcast, be sure to check out the Weekly Bat blog post, which is linked in the description box beneath the YouTube video. Or if you are listening on a podcast player, be sure to check the show notes. See you next week.